welcome everyone to the mm Byron uh, channel here. We're going to be doing some Minecraft today, uh, specifically an AFK fish farm, as you can see here in the background. Um, it's fairly simple design. I've used this, I don't even know, you know how long. It's been a while that I've been using this specific one. And I do know that it works even in the newest snapshot here, 1.13.2, I think it is. Um, so go ahead, uh, test it out. Let me know how it works for you. Um, if you have any issues with it, please let me know. Um, but let's jump right into this. Um, so what you're going to be needing here, uh, two trip wire hooks, three redstone dust, uh, an iron trap door. I do think it has to be um, iron specifically. Uh, a water bucket, a uh, slab of any sort, doesn't matter what type, 23 uh, blocks of whatever you want, doesn't matter what it is, uh, one chest at least, uh, two repeaters, one string, one hopper, and you're not required to build it, but required uh, in order to use it, uh, one fishing rod. Uh, I'm going to grab this fishing rod real quick, actually, give you a quick demonstration. Um, to use this, what you're going to do is walk up to this uh, slab here. You want to look at this middle uh, pixel here, this middle square. You just want to hold down the right click button. Um, so you'll just let this go. Uh, even though it is one block, you can still fish in it. Um, the only uh, the only thing you need to worry about is the blocks above the water source. Um, everything above this has to be uh, either clear or uh, can be a glass block. But basically this water has to be able to see the sky. So if you build this underground, um, you're going to have to dig straight down um, from the surface and uh, either put maybe a glass block on top um, or you can leave it open, doesn't matter. But this does need sunlight, uh, not necessarily sunlight, but does have to have uh, unrestricted view of the sky I'll say um, so let's take a look at this real quick uh, basically what we have is uh, two trip wires powering redstone which powers this trap door once the door opens we can freely click on the note block uh, which basically tricks Minecraft into continuously pulling our fishing rod in but it won't actually do it until you have something on the line once you catch it it will go into this hopper here and then fall down into the chest down here at the bottom as you can see um, pretty simple not very resource uh, intensive you can get pretty much all these items fairly on and uh, fairly early on in the game maybe the hopper will be the hardest thing but that's just a little bit of iron so let's just jump right into it okay um, let's get into building this here uh, first we're gonna build up on either side of the hopper here and then in front we'll actually put a slab uh, we don't want a full block because that will restrict our view from the back side there from the note block which we need to see the back side here we're going to continue closing in the hopper here so we can put a water block me clear out this weather okay on either side of the water we're going to build up one block um, so that we can place our tripwire hooks and our string uh, this is actually what's going to be powering our redstone um, as for the redstone we're actually going to put a block here and here and our trail it's going to go around the back side here. Uh, you want the repeater going out of the tripwire block here. So we'll go out and then it's going to come out and run back into this block here, which is going to power our trap door. Now, the trap door, you actually want it to be running from uh, left to right here or right to left, but. Um, from this perspective basically you don't want it going forwards to uh, forward to back um, so that's what you want it to look like when it opens up um, with the switches here uh, the repeaters as for me I usually do two ticks on this one here 
it may depend on um, how much lag you usually get, what server you're on. You may need to adjust it a little bit, um, but that usually works for me. The back side here, we'll put a block down so we can place our note block. Um, unless you want to hear this the whole time you're using this farm, <laughs> um, I would say go ahead and put a cobblestone block on top there, or whatever block. Um, that actually prevents the note block from making any sound. Uh, I think that should do it. Um, if we just want to try real quick, I'm going to grab a fishing pole slash give. Fishing rod, or rather. So it's going to open the trap door up and we'll keep hitting that note block over and over, which is essentially reeling our fishing pole in, but it won't actually reel it in until something's on the line. Um, so when a fish or a piece of loot hits the line, the bobber is going to go under, we'll reel it in. Um, it's going to go into the water block here, which will then go down into the hopper, which will then go into the chest. So let's take a look here. There's our fish. So um, super easy, really simple. Um, not, you know, really not a lot of blocks you need to get. The hardest part is probably the iron, um, which, I mean, you can find that anywhere. So really great uh, way to start up if you're starting a new world um, on survival. Really good way to get to XP, um, items, enchanted books. Um, I've been using this for a while now. It has never let me down. Like I said, it does work on the current snapshot. Um, let me know what you guys think. If, you, uh, if this video helped you at all, please like it. Uh, subscribe if you want more content like this. Um, and feel free to comment, uh, give me any uh, kind of tips or tricks that you may have. Uh, if you have a different way of building this, please let me know. Um, and if you want to see any videos in the future, um, just let me know. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Bye.